Troy Basil. I'm a professional firefighter for over 20 years, currently a lieutenant with the Milwaukee County Fire Department, and I've designed the Dragon Bag for RIT rescue operations. The Dragon Bag is designed to store RIT rescue equipment, specifically the air rescue aspect of RIT evolutions. It carries the components of the air bottle um, all the way up to the mask and additional options to deploy the, the air rescue to mitigate a low air emergency for a downed firefighter. So Troy came to us um, back in early spring of 2015 with a prototype bag and he was referred to us by another canvas shop that, that doesn't do the amount of uh, projects that we do. We take on a lot of custom projects. All the components are stored within the bag and the bag is designed to be versatile to what you put in your bag, uh, what your company feels is important for your RIT rescue operation. Uh, you can add elements within the bag beyond the air, the, the versatility of the bag, you can expand it with the Velcro closure. Uh, with the Velcro closure at all aspects and all components, you can secure the items within the bag as you deploy the operation. The components aren't moving around. They're held securely within uh, while in the apparatus as well through deployment in a low air emergency operation. This option of the RIT rescue bag carries a tool bag on the top which can be deployed with the bag if your department chooses. We've chosen to deploy the tool bags within a four person company. Two searchers will get two components of our tool bags. There's a big loop on the back with a screw gate carabiner to give you several options on how to secure the bag to your person. You can use it to your survival, your gut belt, personal escape belt. Um, you can hook it to your chest strap, your waist strap of your SCBA. You can remove the carabiner. And then we've secured a big loop of webbing behind this bag and then secured it through your chest strap of your SCBA as well as your waist strap, keeping your tool component within arm's reach secure to your person. Then at the time of deployment, Again, Velcro, and you can get deploy your tools. Once you've used them, you can then restore them, resecure them, and continue on. The, there's another option of the bag without the Velcro, and some departments prefer to carry their tool component within the bag um, as far as their setup procedure, their on deck status of their RIT team. So the component was to have a wear resistant bottom uh, with low resistance when dragging it. The, the components within are, are probably in the neighborhood of 25, 30 pounds plus, depending upon what you put in there. And it doesn't feel that way when you're dragging it. You can drag it by hand, you can drag it over your shoulder, drag it with your, you know, stepping through the loop with your leg. There's very little resistance there. The deployment is quick, it's a one handle, open up the bag, you can remove all the components, slide the bag aside. My customer takes it to, uh, took it, actually took the first model over to a, a company that molds plastics and he, made, the, made the, the little sled, the little plastic piece that goes on the bottom, and then they um, rivet it to the bag. We've evolved to have some air supply options that can, we, we can expand our air supply 25 feet from the bag, keeping all the components together and deploying that, that uh, air supply line to the downed firefighter. The sample that he brought in for us was very complicated, and he didn't like that that much to a bag he wanted the less is more effect so they wanted an easy quick simple access to the bag and they needed reflective and after a couple of trial and errors we were able to come up with a bag that fits his needs and we made sure it had the integrity that they needed the equipment that they put inside there we all have our own opinion on how things should be and the consistent comments we keep getting back it's a durable product with a lot of versatility and relatively inexpensive in comparison to what else is on the market. So we've had no failure in the bag. The components of the bag have been well designed. Um, the products that were chosen to, uh, in the manufacturing process of the bag have held up to all of our expectations and quite frankly exceeded them. They were very cost um, competitive. Um, they're, they're close in proximity to me, which made it very comfortable for me their ideas, their samples to get us to the final product were always done in a timely fashion. Um, I have full confidence 
in all of their recommendations, uh, they definitely uh, communicate that they're not going to make a product that they're not proud to put their name on. And I'm honored that they're making a product that I put my name on. So I highly recommend the, their team. They're easy to work with, uh, very accessible. Yeah, absolutely, I would definitely recommend Harkin.